About 380 of the 1,485 schools in the Northwest benefit from the scholar transport scheme. The department says approximately 65,000 learners depend on scholar transport. However, there have been challenges since Inland School opened for the 2023 academic year last week. This includes service providers operating buses that are not roadworthy. And when we followed up, we were informed that uh, learners were not uh, provided with transport because service providers uh, allegedly uh, reported that they did not have diesel. Some of them um, apparently the, they had problem with their transport and they claimed that they were owed money by the department. So we checked uh, and the system indicated that those service providers who ostensibly claimed that they were owed, they actually were paid. The school governing body at Huar School Colin says it once had to devise a means for learners to reach the school when a service provider abandoned their route. With a problem, always the learners were coming late at school and sometimes the, uh, the bus will not uh, even have a, a, a diesel. The school will have to provide the drivers with, uh, with a diesel. And then the previous, the problem was uh, with the previous uh, uh, transport uh, provider. But now the new uh, transport provider is now fine. We've got no problem. But the body representing scholar transport service providers attributes these challenges to lower rates paid by government. Currently, operators, uh, the rate that they are paid by the government is quite uh, beyond the CPI. Uh, for the previous five years, there's never been a, a price increase. So, uh, in short, the operators of scholar transport, particularly in the Northwest province, they are running a business as a loss, and it's a matter that actually needs an urgent attention. The Department of Public Safety and Transport Management in the Northwest says it will deal decisively with service providers who fail to fulfill their contractual obligations. Zeblon Maine, SABC News, Colini.